the sunlight. I just get them bands, get them zans, do a shot at them. I just get them bands and the light to give a shout out. I just get them zans and the light to give a shout out. I just fuck the fan and she asked for a shout out. Sorry for flexing on y'all niggas. Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Marty My 2K, aka Mr. I Robot, aka I Lead Your Grandma Booty, but not her patootie. Haha, <laughs> can you dig it? I say, can you dig it, baby? So, yo, man, I'm coming to you all with a different type of video today, man. A tips and tricks video, man. For all the centers out there, y'all want to listen up, man. Y'all want to keep your ears open. I said y'all want to keep y'all ears open, man. I got some tips and tricks for y'all, man. Look, man, first thing first, when you're creating a center, it's all about what type of center you want. Do you want a, a dominant in the paint type of center? Which I highly doubt because everybody want to be like Chris Bosh and shoot them three. So if you want to do that, you might as well go ahead and create a pure shooter center. Pure shooter sooner. Ah, pure shooter. Ah, man, one take. That's all we're going to do pure shooter center if you do something like that where all you're doing is update updating your uh your shooting abilities and things like that you're gonna be out here knocking down the jimmies you know what i'm saying you're gonna be out here looking like a point guard or a shooting guard and people are gonna be like well damn ain't you a center no nigga i'm a point center that's that's where that's where i get the point center thing from because you know what i'm saying not only can you shoot but you know what i'm saying you're gonna be out here shooting like a point guard but anyways man that's that's one of the steps of like one of the tips and tricks that you should use you know when you when creating a center now next thing you want to do is defensive wise man defensive wise you want to update your defense all the way up because you want to be able to have these boys on lockdown on ld you know what i'm saying you don't want your opponent to have no breathing room you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to lock your opponent down. So you just want to update your defensive, you know, settings and all that. You want to put that. You want to max it out till it can't max out. Then you want to update your playmaking. Now, and your vertical. Now, I re the reason why I say playmaking is because first things first, your passing will be accurate if you update your uh you know, if you update your, your uh, playmaking skills. Now, of course, mine aren't even updated all the way. But you see, I'll be out here looking like a point god. A point setter. You know what I'm saying? To, look at 2K, bro. 2K been pl was playing with me the whole day. About to lag me out the games and shiz. But you know what? Anyways, man. Like, for me, I just updated my inside scoring, my outside scoring. And, um... Everything's basically updated, like fully stacked, except my playmaking. My playmaking is trash, but you see, I be out here making some dope passes, and you see the defense. You see what I'm saying, man? You gotta make sure your defense is all the way up. Even though defense, you know, I don't even know what defense is in 2K16. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Like once you get all that stuff updated, man, I, I guarantee your center will be out there doing his thing. You know, embarrassing all these other set. Look at me, bro. I'm, I missed the layup, bro. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, man, like, I'm telling you, man. You create a center like that that can just go crazy from threes, like a, a, a mini Steph Curry, and be consistent with that. I don't, I don't see nobody liking you down, man. Nobody. Unless you, uh, unless another center, you know what I'm saying, is equal to what you made. But it's rare to find that type of center. But um, you know, when when I created my center, I, I'm, that's that's where I messed up. First thing first, I, he's seven foot. I should have made him seven foot three, cause you know what I'm saying. If I would have made him seven foot three, I probably wouldn't have some of these miscues that I have now. So when you make your center, make sure he is seven foot three. Seven foot three. I understand, you know, two K be tripping. They're like, oh, his speed won't be fat. Who cares? Okay, you're gonna be out there getting blocks and whatnot. But you know, I hope y'all enjoyed the tips and tricks video, man. We're gonna have some more coming. You know, this is just for the center position right now. We'll have some for each position. Each position, man. Y'all be breezy and keep it easy. Hey, and keep it easy. Hey, hey, hey.
It's your boy Money My 2K bring y'all that good old gameplay, baby. Can you dig it? Yeah.